Hey Reefers, welcome back. Okay, so today's going to be a very different video. Um, we're going to have a look at a program called SketchUp. Um, this is, there has two versions of this. There's a paid version and a free version. I'm using the free version. And basically what we're going to do is design a fish tank and sort of put it in a layout. So this is a nice program to use if you want to build yourself a fish tank and you know, if you have some designs that you want to work through. So for example, let's have a look at something that I'm working on over here. We'll go into my designs here and basically looking at a shop set setup. Basically, this is something that I'm looking at doing for a shop design. I'm still busy with it. So it's just a new, a new batch of holding tanks. Still got to put all the plumbing in. Those are UV sterilizers over there, uh, protein skimmers. So all the plumbing will, will go in there. Basically, this is a service section over here if you need to do any work on the systems. No, so, and then also basically what the system would look like when it's finished. So that's the idea what the system will look like when it's done. So if you turn it around, same thing at the back, just all cladded up and looks all nice and neat and presentable for the shop. Yeah, so let's go back to our, our little um, demonstration. Okay, so let's say we want to build a fish tank and we have a size in mind. Let me just do something quickly. Something we need to do before just changing it to millimeters. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do this in millimeters. So let's say I've got in mind, I wanna build a six foot fish tank, which is approximately 1.8 meters. Let's get to the 1.8 meter mark. It's a little bit difficult to get exact, so I'm just going to Get an idea and let's say this is going to be our stand first so i want my stand to be 900 high and then the width i want to go two and a half foot so 70 750 750 wide okay like i said i'm not i'm not going to play with the exact numbers right now So we're just going to draw out a frame for a box. So we're just drawing out a box. Okay, so there's our box. If we take a look at that and go around, it's a solid box. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be the stand. So, okay, we just want to draw little doors. And what we do here on this door, take our pointer, our cursor, and then select that and the four, so select that and we're gonna copy it. So we're gonna go Control C, Control V, and then we're gonna add that in right over there. And that will basically be our cupboard. We're gonna highlight that, delete it, highlight that, delete it, and there we go. So there's our doors for our, well, our opening for our cabinet. Now, if you want to um, give this some form of texture, so we can open up the three blocks and we're going to look for a wood texture. 
have a look at that. That's a nice pine. And use the paint tin and just color that up. So you're going to just spin that around there and then color that side there. So select the paint tin and there we go. Okay, so that basically is going to be our stand. Okay, like I said, this is just an idea to give you an idea of designing an aquarium, you can go very technical and, and to the T on size and everything like that. Okay, so what we want to do now is our tank, I want to make two foot, two foot high. Or as close as we can on that mark. Then I'm going to draw another box on top here. that okay so then here we have our fish tank okay and it doesn't look much like a fish tank at the moment but what we're going to do we're going to select the top and we're going to delete that Okay, so now we've deleted that. Now let's give it a nice texture. So we're gonna go back here and we're gonna look for mirror and glass. Glass and mirror, there we go. There's a nice watery glass effect. And then we're just going to give the tank a nice glass look. Okay, like I said, this is very basic. If you want to get technical and you want to put like an overflow in, you can measure it up. You can add a over center overflow box in the middle here. Grab this tool, pull, push tool. Grab that, pull that up. Once again, we're going to select there, delete that. Um, grab our paint tin. We still select it on the glass. And there we go. So we got a nice little overflow there. Uh, messed up at the back a little. Just go across like that. Make that glass as well. Okay, yeah, so that's a basic idea. I don't know why that is gone like that. Let's see. Okay, cool. So it's nice and wood on the inside as well. Like I said, if you want to go a little bit technical, we can take a little bit of a zoom in there. Take our pencil tool draw on the green axis, make it come through to there, through to there. And then once again, we use push pull tool, lift that up, remove the top, let's select our glass, our paint tin, and there we go. So we have a little sump. Now if you want to, you can add baffles to it and that, but we're just basically doing something simple just to give us an idea. Okay, we can even add bracing, we can add the plumbing, you know, you can make everything you want to do on this. I mean, you could, like I said, you can make it very technical. You can even go to your measuring tape and take that tool over there and dot point end point pull it out and that's the size that it is and if you want to you can change it you can edit it because remember when we put it in it wasn't exactly it wasn't exactly right i was slightly over on on the heart as well as the heart of the stand so round it off and then you can you know you can do all the measurements that you need to do on there um, for now we're going to take the measurements away so select them and then push delete so now we've got an idea of how we want our fish tank. Okay, so everything is available on here 
to play around with the design. You can go very technical. Like I said, you can add the plumbing, you can put the sizes on. So if you were gonna make up a custom built tank to give to someone to work from a plan. And, you know, like I said, it's accessible, it's free, it's, it's online, so you don't have to download it. Unfortunately, you will need an internet connection to play with it. But like, even if you want to, for example, go and add our black vinyl to the back, if you're a fan of black vinyl, like I am, and you can add your black vinyl to the back of the tank. Uh, unfortunately, with this is because I put the blue on that side, it's there, so I can just do that. Black vinyl, like so. Let's bring that around. So now the back of the tank is blacked out, but you look down the side, it looks nice. Uh, let's add the black vinyl on the back there, as well as on the inside of that tray. Uh, of the overflow sorry there we go okay so now we're ready to have a look at where we're going to put our tank okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to copy this so Control c reason i'm copying it so that i leave this one alone if i make a mistake i can just come back to this one and we're going to paste it so that's Control v Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to flip this. So we're going to take our move tool, sorry, not our push pull, sorry, our move tool, and that's our rotate. We want to rotate it on the red axis, click, click, and then rotate. So we're on the red axis, and then click again. Okay, so now I've moved the tank like that. Let's go back to the move tool, go to this one, and now we can move. So what I'm gonna do, and instead of moving it, I'm gonna cut it, so that's Control X, and then I can take it to a little area that I have prepared, which is a template. lost myself here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to a little area that I've prepared and then size it up and see what it would look like in my little model of my house and there's <clears throat> there's me again standing in the middle of that big open space okay so this is not actually my house it's just something that I've put together all these all these windows, couches, and all these things are available on here. You just click on 3D Warehouse. 3D Warehouse will open up, and then you can search what you're looking for, couches, um, windows, doors, home theater systems, and you can add it in if you really want to go as detailed as that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna control V, and there's our fish tank. So let's say we want to put our fish tank over there. Okay. And then, let's see, so we can see actually what it would look like there. If we don't like that. Okay, so now you see what I've done here. It's touched the lines, so now I can't move it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go backspace. Oh, not backspace, sorry. Um, undo. Now the fish tank's gone, so we're gonna go Control V again, and it will paste it again. And obviously if I want to put it on this wall, I'll have to release it, keep it highlighted like that, put it back on the Move tool, and then swing him around. Move tool, go to Move Object, and then I can take it to that wall and see what it looks like there. Now you can move it around, play with it. Like now I'm going to deselect it. So it's touched, it's touched the, 
that might still be able to be moved. So it's quite a fun little thing. Um, you can have a look and see, you can play around with it. You know, you can design your fish tank, you can sort of make a layout of, of where you would put your fish tank and get an idea of what it would look like before you actually do it. You know, if you know that this is the size that you have available and that's the size tank you want, you know, and it just gives you a nice little view of what it would look like. Now, I've done quite a few little models with this and I've had great fun with it. I mean, if I take that back to where it was. Okay, so we're going to select it again. So to select the whole thing, we just keep clicking on it until it's totally selected or we can use the cursor and select it. But now you see I've selected the bookshelf at the back, so we've got to make sure that we are not in the way of anything else. So just clicking until it has totally selected it. Back to the move tool. So if I if I click on it here, it's difficult to move it where I want to put it. So if I click on an endpoint or, or a midpoint or on the edge of something, it's easier to move it around. Because if I touch that line, that's where it will, that's where it will go. Let's see if I've, oh, a little bit too far away there. So whatever you do, Try not to touch the, if I touch the line and release it now and try, and try to move it, it will move the line of the building as well. So if I keep it off the line, just off like that, let me bring it a little bit away from the door, then it won't, it shouldn't touch, it shouldn't, sorry, attach itself to the building. So now we're going to deselect it. And we're going to have a look. There we go. That actually looks pretty cool. So, so like I said, you can do everything on here. You, you can design a light bracket that fits onto the wall that would hang your lights. You can design the lights that, that, what, that you want to use. It's great fun. And, you know, like I said, it gives you an idea of what the system would look like in your, in your house where to place it, how to place it. If you want, if, if, if you're not sure if a peninsula would work or, you know, a, a, just a normal reef, however you want to do it, this just helps give you that little bit of design comfort before you actually go and buy the system or build the system. And then you can also see like, you know, how it would fit. Guys, I hope this video was insightful for you. Um, if you haven't checked out any of my videos on setting up a marine aquarium, you can do so. I'll leave a link for the first episode on screen now. Thanks for watching and happy reefing.